क्वेश्चन नंबर थर्टीन इन डायबिटीज ऑल ऑफ द फॉलोइंग स्टेटमेंट आर करेक्ट एक्सेप्ट ऑल ऑफ द फॉलोइंग स्टेटमेंट आर करेक्ट एक्सेप्ट रिकोगनाइज एंडोक्राइन कॉजेस ऑफ डायबिटीज इंक्लूड एक्रोमेगैली कुशिंग येस इंक्रीज ग्रोथ हॉर्मोन इंक्रीज कॉर्टिजॉल बोथ आर इन काउंटर रेगुलेटरी टू इंसुलिन कैन लीड टू डायबिटीज ट्रू स्टेटमेंट वी वॉन्ट द एक्सेप्शन मेजोरिटी ऑफ टाइप टू डायबिटीज डाई फ्रॉम कार्डियोवेस्कुलर डिजीज ट्रू स्टेटमेंट फास्टिंग ब्लड शुगर मोर देन वन ट्वेंटी सिक्स एस्टैब्लिश डायग्नोसिस ट्रू स्टेटमेंट सो द फॉल्स स्टेटमेंट करेक्ट आंसर हैज टू बी ऑप्शन नंबर डी पेशेंट्स विद टाइप टू आर मोर प्रोन टू कीटो एसिडोसिस नो दे आर प्रोन टू हाइपर ऑस्मोलर नॉन कीटोटिक कोमा इट इज द टाइप वन विच आर प्रोन टू डेवलप डायबिटिक कीटो एसिडोस Question number fourteen: Insulin resistance syndrome includes all except. You must know what it is. Insulin resistance syndrome is more famous, also called as metabolic syndrome. More famous name: metabolic syndrome. All of us know that answer. Then, metabolic syndrome is characterized by insulin resistance, hypertension, dyslipidemia, coagulation defects with increased risk of thrombosis there is also central obesity there is also central obesity but what is there there is hyperuricemia there is hyperuricemia not hypouricemia so this is a wrong answer correct statement wrong answer correct statement there is hyperuricemia in a patient with metabolic syndrome Hyperuricemia is present in a patient with metabolic syndrome. Please remember that. Question fifteen. Syndrome Z is characterized by again. What is syndrome Z? Obstructive sleep apnea plus metabolic syndrome. Obstructive sleep apnea with metabolic syndrome. So you can identify. It is characterized by obstructive sleep apnea. True. Impact glucose tolerance true, central obesity true, HDL is good cholesterol. What should happen to HDL? Reduce. HDL should reduce. So not the correct answer. Characterized by one, three, and four. Characterized by one, three, and four. Question sixteen. Favorite following brainstem syndrome and clinical feature. Please remember match the brainstem syndrome as per the. cranial nerve involvement that is easy as per the cranial nerve involvement remember the classical one wallenberg is medulla weber says weber says the midbrain fovel says the pons weber says the midbrain fovel says the pons remember like that midbrain has got third nerve Wallenberg has got lower cranial now with no hemiplegia. Fovell has got sixth and seventh cranial now. So correct answer is one one B one B. There are two possibilities, but two A two A one B three C. That is the correct answer. Option number C is the correct answer for this patient. Question seventeen. Clinical question: Fascinating gait of PD has the following characteristic. Except we know it's a classical feature of Parkinson disease. It's an inefficient gait. There is going to be quicker step. True statement. True statement. What happens to the shy strides? They become short. So strides become short. Exception. Correct answer is C. Correct answer is C. Both these are true statements. Correct answer is C. Question number eighteen. Match the following diseases with their corresponding scoring or grading system. Subarachnoid hemorrhage syndrome of H S and Hunt score. Multiple sclerosis Kurtz case early disability score. Facial nerve paralysis House Brachman score. Myasthenia gravis Osterman's grading. Glasmos coma scale is for head injury. It is for head injury. Go on. Question number nineteen. Parkinson plus syndrome are characterized by the following features. They are characterized by following feature: early onset of dementia, true; late onset of autonomic dysfunction, no. There is early onset of autonomic dysfunction. 
excellent response no poor response to syndopa therapy marked symmetry no asymmetry in early stages okay rather sorry asymmetry is feature of classical parkinson marked symmetry is a true statement so correct answer a and d are true statements a and d are true statements so sgot sgpt ratio uh, rather value more than 1000 is classical of viral hepatitis but what we want exception we don't want answer classically seen in viral hepatitis also in shock liver also in shock liver it can be seen the difference is to make between the two wilson's or nash wilson's also is a rare cause yes true statement so exception is nash non alcoholic steato hepatitis causes only mild increase in sgptot mild increase which is usually less than 5 times the upper limit of normal correct answer is d question 21 hiv positive patient presents with severe odynophagia gastroscopy was performed what can you see so we know hiv positive patient is prone to opportunistic infection prone to opportunistic infection so we know common ones are candida it can be cmv it can be hsv these are the worries that we have but what are the lesion classically you can see white flaky lesion white flaky lesions classical of esophageal candidiasis classical of esophageal candidiasis correct answer esophageal candidiasis question 22 straight forward best treatment for bleeding esophageal varices endoscopic band ligation endoscopic band ligation sclerotherapy there is a risk of ulceration and painful risk of ulceration and painful okay same with alcohol very very painful because it's a sclerosant it causes painful this is outdated nobody does things taken black more anymore it is only in the museum correct answer is endoscopic band ligation treatment identify the arrhythmia how do we go for the arrhythmia start with step number 1 look at the p wave is it present p wave is it present yes p wave is present so if p wave is present what do you say it is sinus rhythm p wave is present that means it is sinus rhythm next what do you see whether each p wave is followed by qrs whether each p wave is followed by qrs let us see this p wave followed by qrs this p wave followed by qrs this p wave followed by qrs but what is happening here there is missing here so this p wave has no corresponding qrs not followed by qrs this p wave not followed by qrs what is this missed beat these are our missed beats when missed beat is present what do you say this is av block now which type of av block is this is it first degree first degree no missed beat has come that means it is second degree av block missed beat has come that means it is second degree av block second degree whether it is mobitz type 1 or mobitz type 2 mobitz type 1 is characterized by wenke backs phenomena where there is a varying where there is a varying pr interval or there can be mobitz type 2 which is associated with a constant pr interval what is happening look at this here the pr interval is constant pr interval is constant so second degree av block mobitz type 2 second degree av block mobitz type 2 answer focus and theme purpuric rash we think of vasculitis syndromes purpuric rash think of vasculitis syndromes you must think of various options are there let us match it case case number 9 year old boy case number 1 9 year old boy presents with gross hematuria so it is a young person with gross hematuria complaints of sore throat and fever associated with arthralgia 
patient has got purpuric skin rash over lower limb and urine revealed presence of dysmorphic RBC and RBC cast present. So there is nephropathy. So there is a nephropathy has come. So nephropathy is present. Young patient is there. And there is a rash in the lower limb. What is it suggestive of? HSP. Henoxlon purpura. Henoxlon purpura. Case number 2. 35 year old with cuff with hemoptysis. This is pulmonary involvement is present. With blood in the urine. So pulmonary renal syndrome. Pulmonary renal syndrome can be good pasture. But patient has got purpuric rash. Suggesting it is a Anka positive vasculitis suggesting it is Anka positive vasculitis again it could be vaginal MPA or chalk straws but patient has pan uveitis and conductive deafness suggestive of vaginal granulomatosis so case number one is of HSP case number two is of vaginal granulomatosis Last question. Match the following diseases with corresponding finding. Rheumatoid arthritis, late DIP involvement. Psoriatic arthropathy, oncolysis, also described as nail peeling. Also described as nail peeling. Reactive arthropathy associated with keratoderma, blenorrhagia. IBD associated arthropathy related with pyoderma, gangrenosum seen more commonly with ulcerative colitis right so rheumatoid arthritis what is answer a3 b4 c2 and d sorry uh, c1 and d2 so 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 answer is b correct answer is option number b right